luck trying to decide which of these programs to binge watch first. <gasps> Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 MTV reality shows. Been telling people all my life, oh my god, that is crazy. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll only be looking at the best MTV reality shows of all time. Is this chicken what I have or is this fish? Number 10, Catfish the TV Show. I could just pursue every single one of these leads and we should make a show of it. In internet lingo, a catfish is someone who hides behind fake social media profiles in order to dupe others into believing they're someone they're not. The goal of Catfish the TV Show, which is a follow-up to a 2010 documentary film of the same name, is to help people in online relationships who think they might be getting catfished. I'm writing you because I met the love of my life online eight years ago and have yet to meet him face to face. Hosted by Neve Shulman and Max Joseph, two documentary filmmakers, the show is an honest look at the ups and downs of trying to find love in a digital age. Catfish, the TV show, continues to be an MTV staple. I'm really sorry for using your pictures, not only of you, but like of your family. Number nine, Making the Band. A new season of Making the Band, let's do it, yeah! Making the Band was a popular ABC show that made the jump to MTV in 2002. The show consisted of four iterations, with each one documenting the trials and tribulations of a group of young aspiring artists attempting to become the next big musical act. While the first iteration focused on the boy band O-Town, the show switched gears when Sean Combs came on board and began searching for the next big hip hop group. The hit MTV show was successful enough to remain on air for 10 years. No small feat in a world that was oversaturated with reality TV shows throughout the 2000s. Dylan, 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 and Dylan, because I spit hot fire. Number eight, The Challenge. You're gonna have to out-dirty your opponent before they out-dirty you. The second oldest show on our list, The Challenge has been an MTV mainstay for more than 19 years. The show is made up of contestants from other MTV reality shows, as well with first-time cast members affectionately called Fresh Meat. Typically, contestants will be divided into two teams and forced to compete against one another for cash prizes. We'll win today's challenge, be off to a great start, receive $20,000 to be banked in your team bank account. Yeah! The show is a petri dish of duplicitous characters, backstabbings, and trash talk, which makes for some pretty darn good reality TV. With 30 seasons under its belt and counting, the challenge shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. We can have a good life and have fun. <laughs> Number seven, my super sweet 16. This is gonna be the party of all parties. Who wouldn't wanna watch the ridiculously over the top birthday celebrations of spoiled rich kids? Such is the premise of this classic MTV show, which points a camera at the excessive lives of American, Canadian, and British teens, and the occasional 21-year-old, and tells the world to eat its heart out. Well, party's off. Listen, you ruined my life! I hate you! We're leaving! The show proved to be so popular that after an eight-year hiatus, it returned to MTV to entertain a whole new generation of viewers. Like it or not, my Super Sweet 16 remains one of the network's biggest draws. DJ, drop that. This is dedicated to the twins. Let's go. Number six, Jackass. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. Three, two, one, five. It's hard to believe that it's been more than 15 years since the show was last on the air. The comic and often dangerous misadventures of Johnny Knoxville and his gang of crude daredevils captivated a generation and would ultimately spawn three theatrically released films and a number of TV spin-offs. <sighs> Jackass was the definition of a TV show that you didn't watch with your parents, as cast members went to incredible lengths to pull off dangerous stunts and humiliating pranks. Honestly, it's a miracle this show lasted for three seasons, as it was constantly under attack from parents and even the occasional government official who felt it promoted dangerous behavior amongst children. Number five, The Osbournes. And the nightmare continues, nightmare in Beverly Hills. Easily one of the most popular and recognizable MTV shows of all time, The Osbournes subjected viewers to the day-to-day -day shenanigans of famed Black Sabbath frontman Ozzy Osbourne and his relationships with his wife Sharon and his teenage children Jack and Kelly. The show provided viewers with endless amounts of drama, as Ozzy and the gang were constantly at each other's throats. The show, which lasted for four seasons, proved to be an enormous success both critically and commercially. 
winning a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Reality Program in 2002, and achieving some of the highest ratings in the network's history. It's got lots of iron, but in, in English hospitals, they used, to, they used to give it to patients. Number four, 16 and pregnant. Even though right now I'm still a size two, I won't be for long because I'm pregnant. The title of this former MTV show leaves little to the imagination, as it's a reality TV series that documents the lives of pregnant teenage girls. Viewers are invited into the lives of these young women, who, despite the fact that they're still in high school, must learn to cope with the reality that they have a bun in the oven. I just don't want him in the picture at all right now, or even maybe after she's born, I don't want him in the picture. The show's documentary format and hard-hitting subject matter proved to be a hit with audiences as it would ultimately last five seasons. The show spawned multiple spin-offs, including Teen Mom, which originally followed new mothers who had previously appeared on 16 and Pregnant. I need formula. We need formula? Yeah, baby. Good I enough. texted you and said get it. Number three, Jersey Shore. I cannot wait to get to the Jersey Shore. Drinking, fighting, and hooking up. There, now you know what Jersey Shore was all about. The popular, albeit controversial MTV series, dropped eight 20-somethings into a beautiful beach house on New Jersey's famed Jersey Shore and let them do the rest. From Polly D and Snooki to the situation in JWoww, the show had no shortage of outlandish characters. I got dibs on a smash room and uh, I'm pretty excited about tonight. The drama-filled program was responsible for spawning a number of hit spin-offs, some of which are still on the air. A total guilty pleasure, Jersey Shore is the reality TV series you secretly wish never ended. It's not okay. You embarrassed me tonight. You have no. embarrassed me enough. Number two, The Hills. Hey, baby. Hello. A spinoff of Laguna Beach, The Real Orange County, which followed the lives of several students enrolled at Laguna Beach High School. The Hills proved to be considerably more successful than its predecessor. Made up of cast members Lauren Conrad, Heidi Montag, and Audrina Patridge, as well as their respective friends and boyfriends, the show followed the young women as they searched for love and meaning while living and working in Los Angeles. I wouldn't give up my singleness right now for Yeah, anything. but that's because you guys have had the most serious relationships ever. While the show was criticized for allegedly fabricating storylines and relationships, the fact remains that it drew steady viewership for the better part of six seasons and is considered one of the most binge-worthy MTV reality series of all time. It sucks, but it's done, you know? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I want to be the first. I want to be the best. I want to be made. I want to be made. <laughs> We're like in the middle of the woods. It's like deliverance. What do you think, guys? East or west? West, west. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> Number one, real world. You'd be hard-pressed to find a list of the best MTV shows that doesn't include Real World. The network's longest-running program dropped the The in 2013, and has continued to be one of the most popular reality shows on TV. While it's undergone a number of changes since it first premiered more than 25 years ago, the basics have remained the same. It's still a group of young adults living together while cameras film their every move. Throughout the years, the show has been praised for its willingness to depict hard-hitting topics such as sexuality, death, and substance abuse. I was accused of being gay very early on um, in my high school experience, which was a very damaging experience for me. While it's considerably lighter nowadays, Real World is still one of television's most addictive reality programs. What are you trying to spell, bro? Your handwriting is terrible. I take Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.